What's up, DC Nation? Welcome back to another video on Justice League Unlimited. And today so we're starting Season 2. We're checking out the first episode titled The Cats and the Canary. Now, that title makes me think that Black Canary will face off against Catwoman. And if that's the case, that sounds awesome. But you guys would tell me in the comment section that this season of Justice League Unlimited Season 2 has the best content in the entire DCAU. Better content than Beats As, Superman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, the OG Justice League series, so I'm really hyped. Like, I'm excited. The fact that we're about to get to the best part of the DCAU gets me stoked. But before we get into the episode, make sure you follow my socials, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. They all have the same username, lowercase dc underscore enthusiast1. Also, go check out the website, dcenthusiast.com, where you can watch all my full episode reactions, including the one for this episode. But yeah, guys, with all that being said, it's time to begin Justice League Unlimited Season 2. Black Canary. Wildcat. It's Black Canary. Wildcats. Where are you? Sorry, Wildcats in this episode? This is getting old, Ted. You need a hand? Mm. Hey! Let's go, Wildcat! I'll be there in ten minutes. Would those be real minutes or Homies boxing? Hey, come on. Oh, come on. Black Canary. Green arrow. I've noticed you around. I know. Yeah. You happy punching the bag, or you want to go a few rounds with me? Mmm. Come on, yeah, Oliver. About sparring. Oh nice snap! Dude, Oliver better get her. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Bro, come on, bro. Center myself. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if Oliver got game. <laughs> Mm. Oh, okay. Don't slam her. You're good. Mm. You should see me when I'm trying. Hmm. Like mm. There is Wildcat in the back punching. Yeah. What is this? Mm. We want to help you, Ted. We want to get you out of here. Why does it look like I have a problem? You do if you don't see what you've become here. Mm. You're entertainment for these people. The rooster in a cockfight. Yeah. Fighting is what I do. And they're all using right, him. I'm good at, and I'm still good at it. No, I'm Wildcat, like you're the more than that. Fights. That's what I am. Mm. Right here will do. Mm, okay. Let's go, Oliver. Don't duh. You drop something. <laughs> Hey, I, I'll blame Oliver. I would peep a little bit too. It's bad, but actually, you know what? I'm respect. I'm respectable. I wouldn't peep at all. Oh yeah, Atomic Skull. When was the last time we saw him? Square up. It's a brawl. Does it hurt Wildcat's fist when he hits the skull? Like, isn't that skull like burning or no? Mm. <laughs> keep going, keep going, yeah. He's just beating the crap out of him. Mm. Like all that flirting you did up at the watchtower. The way you acted interested to get me to come with you. Here we go. Mm. Oh no. I know your game now. <laughs> it's not always a game. No. Come here. Look me in the eye and say so. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver. Dude. He did that on purpose. Don't worry. You'll still get your main event. He's fighting. Ladies yo! Yo! Prepare yourselves Bro, that's crazy! 
between two Green heroes. Arrow versus right Wildcats. And you're still too old to knock me out. Mmm. He's skiing under his skin. Oh. Yo, the impact and the sound. You had enough, smart guy? Huh? Get up! I'm not done! Mm. Oliver is alive. I see what he did there. He faked his death. You know, that was an to get Wildcat stupid. out of there. Not to mention arrogant, pig-headed, macho. Hmm. It's a stunner. Puts you in metabolic stasis for a few minutes. You wanted him to see what it would feel like to kill someone. Yeah. It worked. It did. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome. There's that sonic scream. She destroyed the entire place. That's how you end a story. I like that. Hmm. I'll make it. How about you? You recovering okay? I've had worse. I wouldn't brag about that. Hmm. Care to join me for a cup of coffee? Yeah. Yeah. Good. You're buying. <laughs> Best couple in the DC universe right there. But yeah, guys, getting to the review portion of this video, I first want to talk about the Green Arrow and Black Canary dynamic. It was so good in this episode. Like, their relationship is my favorite in the entire DC universe. Like, I like their couple better than, like, Batman and Catwoman or Superman and Lois, which those are big couples in the DC universe. But something about Green Arrow and Black Canary... They just fit together so well. Like, they're back and forth, bickering, them teaming up. It's always so good. And this episode showed that to its full potential. Like, the writing was on points, how Black Canary acted, her, like, big introduction at the beginning. Because she debuted on the show last season, but this episode actually showcased her character. And to see Green Arrow then show up and them have a constant back and forth of not trusting each other. But at the end, Black Canary, she came around. She actually likes Oliver. And Oliver, he obviously digs her. I would dig her too if I was in his position. But yeah, their dynamic's so good. But yeah, moving on to the next topic, Wildcat. Said Grant, he was really the big character in this episode. Like, yeah, we had Green Arrow and Black Canary, but this episode was primarily focused on Wildcats. We see him fighting in the ring, he talks about superheroes and regular humans and how he's a regular human, and I feel like that's gonna be a big theme this season. It feels like this show has been focusing on that a lot. The idea of these godlike superheroes and people who are just regular humans, the military, they're trying to find ways to fight these heroes if they ever have to. And the fact that the heroes who don't have powers are even questioning the whole system of the Justice League is pretty interesting. This episode shows that with Wildcat and seeing Wildcat feel underappreciated because I'm pretty sure he was a part of the JSA and he's a part of the Justice League and as time goes on, he's not getting called on for big missions. He's being pushed to the side and his pride is being hurt. We see him question his pride, him being used by roulettes, him just keep fighting. The ring is his sanctuary. When he goes in there, he boxes, that's him clearing his mind and him fulfilling his pride. But at the end of the episode, he realized that, all right, I don't need to do that. I should stick with the Justice League. I just need help from my friends and I don't need to be used by this chick, Roulette. Like, I like his character arc. The character arc of Wildcat made this episode amazing. But yeah, that moves on to my next 
point is the character Roulette. Let's talk about her. She wasn't in the spotlight too much, but when she was in the spotlight, she was a pretty interesting character. I hope she returns because her interactions with Wildcats and just her ability to control that entire place and put heroes against each other showed how her character can be used to strong effects. But to my final point in this video, the strong ending. I just want to talk about this episode ended in one of the best ways possible. Like one of the best endings in this entire show so far. That's how much I loved it. Like already the episode had great twists lean up to the ending. Okay, now we have Wildcat versus Black Canary, but then Green Arrow knocked out Black Canary and he stepped in the ring and then oh, Green Arrow is dead, like Wildcat killed him, and that's why Wildcat stepped out, but turns out Green Arrow is not dead, but he did that to not only gain Black Canary's approval, but to help Wildcat move past the stage of him being the ring and being used by roulettes. And at the end, when we see Wildcat now go to get help from Martian Manhunter, and now Black Canary and Green Arrow are together, the whole episode came full circle. I know you're probably thinking, yeah, that's what an episode's supposed to do. Like, shows are supposed to have an episode come full circle and it feels good, but a lot of shows don't really do that. And sometimes they do, but there's certain plot points left out. But I felt like the ending of this episode ended every plot point in the episode like i had no questions i was like wow it wrapped up everything in a perfect way and yeah i love this episode guys i'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 it was a masterpiece a great way to start this season i'm excited to see where this season will go like you're you guys already said in the comment section that it's the best season so I'm hyped. But yeah, guys, some of your thoughts on this episode down below. What do you think about Wildcat? What do you think about the Green Arrow and Black Canary dynamic? And yeah, if you like the video, give a big thumbs. Some new channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Justice League Unlimited reaction and review. And yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.